I gotta say, to first my question about Barbara Streisand, which I wanted to ask 15 minutes ago, if I'm honest, Ugh. but I'll go ahead and get to it now. Uh, Brian, I'm done talking. I can. Have I know. I know. Show, I, okay? I want to, First of all, of all, I want to say when you give Sandra a compliment like that, I have to say one of my favorite things that no other comedian does is. Uh, she do, she doesn't self deprecate in her routines, and it's it's so refreshing. Thank she doesn't you. go after herself. You don't put yourself down. It's yeah. it's so refreshing, and it's something that is so rare. But that's one of my favorite things about your show is like well, you that's know what, what you when are. I started in the seventies, and I was nineteen when I first started performing. I had come off the post feminist wave, you know, and Ms. Magazine, and 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 Gloria Steinem, and Bella Abzug, and the whole fight. Um, for abortion rights. Gail Storm. Gail Storm. Yeah. That's, I mean, I'm going back, that's going back to my childhood. Yeah. When you see all of the women that had to go, oh, I'll do this shtick one more time, you know, that, that, yeah, "Yeah, I'm so fat. And I was like, why would I even bother doing that? It is a given. I don't look like the girl next door, but I've got something fabulous and special. And I'm even when I don't feel good about myself, I'm never going to let the audience know that. I love it. I don't, I'm not going to beat myself up and, and on top of it, have them beat me up too. I mean, then, then none of the work that my sisters, that my mothers, my grandmothers have done are, are, are going to pay off if I'm going to just continue to pummel myself. No. So good. Okay. Mm. My Barbara Streisand question finally. Mm. <laughs> and Ron has heard this a million times, but I want to get Sandra's take on it. So Barbara Streisand's assistant oh. drives oh. from Malibu to Santa Barbara every day to get Barbara the Santa Barbara the, the Santa Barbara strawberry ice cream from McConnell's because Barbara Streisand only wants one pint at a time in her freezer. She doesn't want more than that because I think she might be afraid of what could happen. I want to know what is your opinion on that? Do you think that's <laughs> do you think that's outrageous or do you think she's entitled to it? I think if you're paying somebody enough money. Sure. And, and they're into it and they're, and they're there to only work for you. And maybe they have nothing else to do that day. A nice leisurely drive up the coast. Why not? Why the fuck not? Totally. I'm back with, I would prefer chocolate so they wouldn't have to go to Santa Barbara for my ice cream. <laughs> right. You well, know, I, I, I want you to know every time he asks that question, I give the answer that you give. And he says, Ronnie, you're a monster every time. And now here you are. And <laughs> I'll he only says, take it from Sandra. He says, Sandra, I think you're terrific. But Ronnie, you never put it in the way of like, if they're getting paid enough. And immediately we were talking about workers' rights off the, at the jump. So I'm all about it. What do you mean if they're getting paid? The assumption is they're getting paid enough to be at their job. They've got to do something from nine to five. Sure. I'd be thrilled to drive from Malibu to Santa Barbara every day instead of organizing her cat's clothes or something like that. That's fair. I mean, she's, you know, I don't have to go down to the mall under her house and That's start fair. stocking the fake stores that no one shops in. Fair enough. And then yeah. did, did any one of you see that play about her, the fake store? Oh, but buyer and seller or something? Yeah. No, I never saw it. I always wanted I to. Didn't yeah. either. I yeah, didn't it either. looked. It looked. It, it's so. It was such a weird thing to write a play about. I, but everybody loved it, and I just yeah. couldn't bring myself to see it. Yeah, same. Now wait a minute. Speaking of plays, Brian tells me that Sue Mangas was your agent. Yes, she was. Yeah. When she came, when she did her last, Tell us everything. her last um, circle around the sun at yeah. William Morris, um, 1988, 89, 90. And um, who else is on this roster? At this time. Isn't that funny? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't remember. It, I don't remember. So she she got me Hudson Hawk. And she was I'll trying fall to fall out of this chair. She was trying to fight. She said, My darling, my angel, I want to get you a half a mil, but you gotta believe in me and trust me. It's gonna take some maneuvering. They need they need your name on the marquee. And I said, no, no, because they were offering me less than that. Yeah. I, to this day, I kick myself. Why didn't I let Sue Mangers go and fight for me and get, a, get me $500,000 in 1990? What was, I just didn't have the, I didn't have the, 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 uh, the kishkis to, to go through with but it. But it was yeah. also, I'm sure, a moment in your career where you were sort of saying, no, 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 I would do it for free if they'll give me the opportunity to work forever after this kind of sort of thing. Yeah, I mean- and it was a bomb and it was a, a total, it was, it was Bruce Willis's first bomb. Yeah. So Are you still like, very friendly with Bruce? I mean, if I ran into Bruce on the street, I'd be a fine. I mean, I think he's yeah. a bit of a right winger, 
I, yeah. I adore Demi Moore. She's, you know. No, no. Jesus Christ. That's Wait, Bruce Willis. Oh it's Bruce Willis. He's it might be. It's some, it's some call from Texas. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. He heard Just, you. I, 